بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome all of you my dear students to the introduction to the English language course This is your teacher Ms. Asma Abu Samra and inshallah today we are going to start lesson 2 from our book First of all I hope all of you are fine and in a good health inshallah today we are going to start lesson 2 from our book Top Notch. Okay, first of all, let me remind you of the title of this unit. Do you remember with me? تعالوا أذكركم بعنوان الوحدة الأولى اللي إحنا درسناها مع بعض بدءاً من الأسبوع الثاني. Again, what is the name and what is the title of this unit? It's called Getting Acquainted. Getting acquainted if you want to introduce yourself to others. This is called getting acquainted. If you want to introduce someone to other people, this is called getting acquainted. أعرف نفسي أو أعرف أشخاص آخرين لمجموعة جديدة من الناس أو من الأشخاص هذا يسمى باللغة الإنجليزية التعارف. Let me remind you again with the unit objectives. We have communication goals for every unit. كل وحدة من الوحدات لها مجموعة من الأهداف. And last time in lesson one, we talked about meet someone new. And in شاء الله today in lesson two, we are going to identify and describe people. طبعا الهدف من الدرس الثاني في هذه الوحدة التعرف ووصف أشخاص آخرين. Inshallah, number three and four, we are going to take them in the future lessons, okay? Now, open your book with me, try to take notes. افتحوا كتابكم معايا ودايما حاول ان احنا نسجل الملاحظات اول باول. Now, in lesson two, as we know, we are going to identify and describe people. Identify. Identify التعرف and describe people. Describe what does describe mean? شو يعني كلمة describe بمعنى وصف الآخرين. And it's very important to focus upon a grammar rule here, and it's related to modification by using adjectives. هنا حنعمل تركيز على استخدام الصفات باللغة الإنجليزية سو. Read and focus with me. اقرأي وركزي معي. Grammar modification with adjectives review. What are the adjectives, girls? What are the adjectives? Adjectives describe nouns and pronouns. Adjectives باللغة الإنجليزية تشير إلى الصفات. وهي نحن دائما نستخدمها في وصف الأسماء ووصف الضمائر. Nouns and pronouns. Nouns and pronouns. How can we explain this in more details? Describe nouns or pronouns. For example, English is fun. English is fun. Where is the adjective here? When is sifa? Fun. Fun يعني ممتع. What is the noun that is going to be described here? It's English. الاسم اللي أنا قمت بوصفه هو اللغة الإنجليزية فأنا بحكي English is fun Here I describe the noun أنا قدرت أوصف الاسم I can also describe a pronoun He is famous Where is the adjective? Again, it's in the red color Famous Famous What do you mean by famous? معناته مشهور he is famous بمعنى إنه هذا الشخص مشهور. What do we notice here? شو بتلاحظوا معي? English is fun. ال adjective الأولى استخدمناها لوصف كلمة English وكلمة English عبارة عن noun اسم. He is famous. He is a pronoun. And I describe it by using famous. And this pronoun is referring to a person who is male. دائما الضمير هي بستخدمه لشخص عاقل مذكر ومفرد okay? and let's continue read about this rule نقرأ الشطر الثاني من القاعدة they can go after the verb be or before a noun طيب يمس أسمى لو أنا 
عايز أو عايزة أستخدم هذه الأدجكتيفز Where to put it in the sentence exactly يعني وين بدي أضيفها بالجملة أين مكانها تحديدا في استخدام الصفات هو الآن بيساعدني بيقول لي I can use it where exactly after verb be uh, What is be? Do you remember what do you mean by be? Be means is, yes correct, ممتاز Is, am and are So after be we can place our own adjective The book is great The book is great The students are wonderful دائما أنا بقدر أستخدمه بعد الفعل okay? And I can use it before nouns آه لكن لو أنا بدي أستخدمها مع الأسماء I can place it before nouns بستخدم الصفة قبل الاسم She is a good teacher She is a good teacher I put the word good It's, it's adjective And it's before the noun teacher أنا أضفت الصفة good قبل الاسم teacher okay so let us read the examples look here we have terrific he is a terrific athlete from Jamaica Tony Ling and Jong Li are famous they are famous actors from China they are wonderful look famous 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 actors they are wonderful Now, use an article before an adjective that modifies a singular noun. الآن إذا أنا محتاجة أستخدم الصفة and I am describing singular noun وأنا بقوم بوصف اسم مفرد I need to place a modifier. A modifier بمعنى استخدام أداة خاصة بالتعريف like the articles we use a and an. For example, he is a great musician. He is a great musician. Musician بمعنى موسيقار أو موسيقي. لاحظي أنا استخدمت a because I'm talking about one musician. We can't say he's great musician. What is missing here? شو الشيء المفقود? There is no article here. There is no usage of a or an. Let us take other examples. It's a nice day. اليوم يوم جميل It's a nice day I put the article A before the word day And again It's very important to use modifiers And using articles before the adjective If the noun is singular من الضروري استخدام أداة تعريف A أو آن قبل الاسم أو قبل عفوا الصفة عند استخدامنا لوصف الأسماء المفردة Look here It's an interesting book. It's an interesting book. I changed the article from A to AM because, as you know, interesting is starting with a vowel. طيب ليش مس اسمه هنا غيرنا ما استخدمنا ال A استخدمنا AM لأنه interesting الصفة بدأت ب vowel حرف علة فبنقول it's an interesting book. Now here we have. certain group of positive adjectives positive adjectives يعني مجموعة من الصفات الإيجابية lovely adjectives مجموعة من الصفات الرائعة but keep in your consideration I have different types of adjectives and I want you to think about them خلي في بالك إنه أنا عندي مجموعة كبيرة من الصفات to describe appearance to describe personality عندي بعض الصفات اللي أنا بستخدمها لوصف الشكل لوصف الشخصية Now, we will listen carefully to these adjectives. I want you to repeat them and try to memorize them by heart. Page 6. Positive adjectives. Listen and repeat in the pauses. Beautiful. Famous. Fantastic. Great. Handsome. Terrific. Wonderful. Beautiful. Jamil. Famous. What do you mean by famous? He is a famous football player. Bimana Mashur. Fantastic. Ra'eh. Great. Azim. Awra'eh. It's great to meet you. 
Yes. Handsome, we use it for when we talk about men or describe men. Handsome بمعنى وسيم. Terrific. Like, fantastic. Terrific تأتي أيضا بمعنى رائع أو جميل. Wonderful. It means also great بمعنى رائع أو عظيم. Now, let's turn our page and let's try to do some practice and do some exercises. Okay. We have exercise number 10 in your workbook. So you can open your workbook and try to think and do this exercise with Miss Asma. Unscramble the words to write sentences. Unscramble. It means these words are not arranged in a meaningful sentence. هاي الكلمات مش مرتبة على هي الجملة مفهومة. I need to arrange these words in order to make a meaningful sentence. بدي أحاول أرتبهم أعمل جملة مفهومة. But be careful because here we have articles, here we have adjectives. Now let's read first. Actor. Actor, ممثل. Wonderful, رائع. Is Suraj Sharma. This is a name of a person. طب بمس اسمه مش عارفة انه اسم شخص. It's in a capital letter, so it can be a name of a person. Yes. And we have a. How can we arrange the sentence? First, let's start with the noun, the subject. Suraj Sharma is singular. Is a wonderful actor. I can say he is a wonderful actor or she is a wonderful actor. Okay. Number two. Fantastic. Ah, uh, athlete. What do you mean by athlete? Athlete means a sport person. Athlete معناته شخص رياضي. Is and oh my God, we have Lionel Messi and maybe he's a famous person. You know this person, of course. So how can we make a sentence here? Yes, good, great. Lionel Messi is a fantastic athlete. Okay, can you do the rest at home? I think all these sentences are very easier for you if you understand that we should start with a subject, then we have a verb, then place the adjective before the noun. Okay, number three here we have Juan Gabriel. Okay, writer is great. A. Okay, so if I want to compose it, it will be like this Juan Gabriel is a great writer is a great writer okay i will show you the rest of the answers okay but i want you when you watch this video at home i want you to stop the youtube video before the answers will show up for you in order to practice by your own self أنا دائما بطلب من الطالبات قبل إنهم ينظروا إلى الإجابات بيقوموا بعملية إيقاف للفيديو على أساس إنكم تحاولوا تجربوا الإجابة بنفسكم تكتبوا الإجابة على نوتس وبعد ذلك تعملوا comparison مقارنة between your answer and Miss Asma's answer Great! Let's practice a new exercise And again, there is something very important here I'm writing all the adjectives that I can read in this page Wonderful, fantastic, great, excellent, beautiful, famous. حلو لو أنا كتبت كل الadjectives اللي بتمرق معايا على أساس إن أنا أستفيد منها في حفظ الكلمات. Okay. A new exercise. It's different, but the names are familiar. Oh, these are the names from the previous exercise. This is exercise 13 from the workbook again. Challenge. Write yes or no questions with be about the people from exercise 10. كأنه بيطلب مني أعمل أسئلة خاصة بال yes or no question by using the information about these people from the previous exercise. قبل قليل إحنا عملنا جمل عن هؤلاء الأشخاص إحنا الآن رح نعمل عليهم أسئلة. Look at number one. Suraj Sharma in the movie Life of B. Okay, Suraj Sharma. In the movie life. So I need to talk about this person. Suraj is singular. So if I want to ask about him or about her if she's a girl. Okay. Is Suraj Sharma an actor in the movie Life of B? Okay. The second 
example lionel messi a soccer player i can say is lionel messi a famous soccer player هل هو لاعب كرة قدم مشهور كلمة soccer بمعنى كرة قدم and they use it a lot okay it's similar like football okay can you do the rest at home I think it will be easier for you now let's move to another exercise but the idea here is little bit different انتقلنا الآن لا تمرين جديد لكن الفكرة الآن مختلفة it's a grammar practice again combine each pair of sentences pair pair معناها زوج من الجمل every part here we have two sentences and I need to combine between these two sentences and make them only one sentence combine two in one معناته بدي أدمج جملتين في واحد and look carefully Chris Bine is an actor from the US he is handsome Chris Bine هو ممثل من الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية He is handsome بمعنى هو بهي المنظر أو شكله وسيء Okay, can we make it in one sentence? He is doing this exercise for us as an example Chris Bine is a handsome actor from the US I took the adjective and I put it before the noun أنا أخذ الصفة هنا وقمت بوصف الاسم In order to make it easier and put it in one sentence can we do the second one? Yes. Emily Sunday is a singer from UK. What is UK, girls? United Kingdom. الولايات المتحدة أو المملكة المتحدة. United Kingdom is Britain, Britannia. Yes. Emily Sunday is a singer from the UK. She is fantastic. So how can we say it? Emily Sunday? Excellent, because the singular is a fantastic singer from the UK. هي مطربة مشهورة في المملكة المتحدة. Okay. Ching number three. Ching V and Yu Jinan are athletes. جمع I put is here from China. They are terrific. Terrific بمعنى رائعين. So if I want to put it in one sentence, it will be like this. Cheng Vi and Yo Jinan are terrific athletes. Here I need to put S, I'm sorry. From China. From China. Okay? You can do the rest at home. It will be very easy. Like number four. And here we have number five. It's very easy, girls. Again, we need to combine both sentences. Don't forget to put the article A or an. Don't forget to put the adjective before the noun. ما تنسي تستخدمي أداة الترقيم قبل الصفة ويكون الصفة دائما عندي قبل الاسم. Okay, that's great so far. Let's practice something new now. Conversational model. Here we are going to listen to a conversation. Read and listen to someone identify and describe a person. هنا المحادثة حتساعدنا إننا كيف أقوم بعملية التعريف بشخص ووصف هذا الشخص. Now we need to listen to a recording and please listen carefully because we will focus on certain vocabulary. Okay? While we read and while we listen together, we need to focus on these words. Come on, Page let's six. start. Conversation model. Exercise A. Read and listen to someone identify and describe a person. Hey, who's Lucia Micarelli? You don't know? For real? No. Is she famous? She sure is. She's a great musician. Where is she from? The United States. Hey. Hey, not hi. Hey is like informal greeting. دائماً العبارة خاصة بالتحية لكن تحية غير رسمية between friends. Okay. Who's Lucia? She's speaking about Lucia Marcelli and she is a very famous musician. 
هي عازفة مشهورة جدا You don't know هي مستغربة You don't know for real عن جد You don't know her عن جد لا تعرفين أو لا تعرف بها No is she famous هل هي مشهورة She sure is أكيد طبعا She is a great musician Where's she from The United States United States again What is it again It's Yes America Okay Look to the words Hey For real عن جد Famous And we have musician Musician عازف أو موسيقي جاي من أي كلمة Music Very very good Okay Can you notice something We have information question Like where Who's she Look at the first Who is Who's Where is Where is she from This is like the information question We talk about Okay That's great Now We will move to Something related to grammar And this grammar is like a practice for using yes or no question And this is something very easy Because we will practice using is and am and are But this time not in a form of uh, questions information No, it's related to questions Where the answer is going to start with yes or no Are you our teacher? Yes, I am no, I'm not. Is she Chinese? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Or we can say, no, she's not. لاحظ ال contraction والاختصارات اللي إحنا عملنا بنستخدمهم. طيب مس أسماء ليش استخدمنا في البداية are because are you are you I use the pronoun you. Is she Chinese? هل هي من الصين؟ هل هي صينية؟ Is your nickname Josh? Nickname بمعنى اسم اللقب أو اسم الدلع We use to say nickname Is your nickname Josh? Yes, it is No, it isn't Or we can say No, it's not لاحظ بالاختصار إما باختصر الجزء الأول أو الجزء الثاني Are you and Tom students? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. No, we are not. Okay? Are they famous? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Or we can say, no, they're not. يا إما بكتب not وبختصر جزئية الأولى يا إما بختصر الضمير مع الفعل مباشرة أو عفوا الفعل مع أداة النفي مباشرة. Now, can we practice this, Miss Asma? Yes, this is an exercise from our workbook, by the way. هذا تمرين موجود عندي في كتاب الورك بوك Look at the responses Complete the yes, no questions with B Be careful B again is um, R Number one Stacy No, I'm not I'm Claire So what should we say? Are you Stacy? هل أنت? No, I'm not I am Claire لا لست أنا أنا اسمي مختلف Okay Number two, space English. No, they are not. They are Australian. Be careful that the answer referring to plural is referring to plural. لاحظ الإجابة بتشير إلى الجمع. So, are they English? طب إيش يعني are they English? English هنا مش مستخدمة للغة يا جماعة مستخدمة للجنسية. Are they English? هل هم من بريطانيا؟ والناس اللي بيكونوا من المملكة المتحدة أو بريطانيا بنسميهم British okay number three a student here yes he is I think he's a new new طالب جديد so is he a student here good very very good number four are you married married marital status الحالة الاجتماعية no I'm not I'm single single بمعنى غير متزوج good number five come on Try to do it before me. How long can you do it? In the same class. Yes, we are. So, what should we say? Are you in the same class? Yes, we are. على فكرة هنا ممكن نستخدم Are you? Are you in the same class? كأني أنا بس المجموعة من الأشخاص هل أنتم في نفس الصف جميعاً أو مع بعضكم? Yes, we are. وممكن لا أغير الضمير 
بتصير ار وي ان ذا سيم كلاس انا مع مجموعه من الاصدقاء بقول لهم هل نحن حنكون في نفس الشعبه او نفس الصف اوكي نمبر 6 ا جود شيف 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 اه دونت بي هانجري ما حدش يجوع كلمة شيف بمعنى شخص بيقوم بطبخ الطعام يعني طاهي أو طباخ. أوكي شور يس أور شي شور إز يعني أكيد بالطبع. So what should we say? Is she a good chef? هل هي طباخة مشهورة أو طباخة شاطرة? Yes, sure is or she sure is أكيد أو بالطبع. Okay, that's nice, wonderful so far. We have here another exercise. It's a little bit different. Exercise B, grammar practice. Complete the questions and answers. Use contractions when possible. طلب مني أيضا استخدام الاختصارات. I will not do it at all the sentences. I will try to do the first three parts. Number one, your father a teacher. What is missing here? شو المفقود عندي? Yes, the verb be. Your father. Singular or plural, father. Singular. So, is. Is your father a teacher? Yes. He or she, father? He. Yes, he is. Excellent. Number two. Your son an athlete. Your son. هل ابنك رياضي أو شخص رياضي? So, is your son. طب لي مس أسمل مش مستخدمناش أر لإنها مش you. Not are you, لا your son بمعنى ابنك أو ابنك okay? No, he is not What can we say? He is an artist Artist بمعنى فنان طب يمس أسمى بنقدر نختصر آه بنقدر نختصر بنقدر نقول No, he is not أو No, he isn't Okay, good Number three Space This your new address. Address. What do you mean by address? العنوان. Okay. Is this your new address? هل هذا عنوانك الجديد? We can say yes. It is. بينفع نقول هي أو شيء لا. لأنه address غير عاقل. Yes, it is. Okay. Nice. You will complete the rest at home. Again, I'm showing you the answer. And as I have told you, زي ما أنا حكيت لكم, you need to stop the video for a while. Try to write your answers by your own self. And then after that, try to compare your answers with the right answers that Ms. Asma wrote. For the pronunciation, we have some something related to intonation of questions. What is this, Ms. Asma? This is something to help us How to speak English in a perfect way. هذا الشيء بيعلمنا كيف أنا أتحدث اللغة الإنجليزية بطريقة متقنة وبطريقة رائعة. Sometimes we can't pronounce and speak all the sentences in the same way. مش بشكل صائب باللغة الإنجليزية إننا استخدم الجمل باللغة الإنجليزية بنفس الطريقة إننا أتناول جميع الأسئلة والجمل بنفس طريقة اللفظ أو الصوت. دائما هذا الشيء بيرجع لطريقة تعاملنا باللغة الإنجليزية لما أنا أتعامل بجملة غير لما أنا أتعامل بسؤال ودائما أنا بحاول أعلي من نبرة الصوت أو بأقلل من نبرة الصوت هذا إحنا بنسميه باللغة الإنجليزية intonation rising intonation falling intonation يعني إعلاء في طبيعة الصوت أو إخفاض في الصوت Use rising intonation in yes or no question. إحنا دائما لما بنستخدم أسئلة بتكون إجاباتها ب yes or no. We try to rise the intonation. Okay, بنحاول نعلي أو نرفع. And use falling intonation in information question. على خلاف الأسئلة اللي بتكون فيها WH question or asking about information, we will use falling intonation. Now I want you to listen. To know what do I mean exactly? Listen. Page seven, pronunciation, intonation of questions, exercise A. Use rising intonation in yes/no questions. Use falling intonation in information questions. Read and listen. Yes/no questions. Is she an architect? Are they from Canada? 
Information questions. What's our occupation? Where are they from? Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. Is she an architect? Are they from Canada? What's her occupation? Where are they from? Architect means muhandis. Okay? Are they from Canada? Like I'm moving the sound for rising, okay? What's her occupation? Where are they from? Like I move the sound for falling. This is very important part if you want to practice how to speak English sentences in a proper way. And it's a very good practice. Page 7. Now, we will move to another part. Look at the picture. It's like another exercise to practice yes or no question. Look at the picture. Write short answers about the people. Look, here we have a picture and we have information inside the picture and we have questions and answers. And I need to write whether yes or no according to the picture that I'm looking at. Okay, look at number one. Are Andy and Tara students? Look, Andy and Tara are speaking and saying we are students. So yes or no? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Look. Is John an athlete? لاحظوا أنا هستخدم a rising intonation. Is John an athlete? Is John an athlete? He's saying I'm a soccer player. اتفقنا شو يعني soccer player بمعنى لاعب كرة قدم. في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية بيستخدموا كلمة soccer ما بيستخدموا كلمة football. Okay? Is John an athlete? So what will be the answer? Yes, he is Miss Asma. Okay? Number three. Is Maria from Venezuela? I'm from Mexico. So, is she from Venezuela? No. No, she isn't. كمان مرة بقدر أقول No, she's not. Or no, she is not. Or no, she isn't. Okay. The last one. Are Linda and Mike married? This is my wife Linda. Wife يعني زوجتي. So, are they married? Yes, they are. This is very, very good. And I think our lesson today is very easy and it's very useful. So, this unit, in this unit, we talked about lesson one. And today, uh, alhamdulillah, we finished lesson two. And in this lesson, we have learned so far two important things to talk about and use adjectives. We have different adjectives and we practiced more for using yes or no questions and practice more by using is and am and are. Now, I want you to listen at a video at the end of our class for today. And this video is going to teach us more in new adjectives, but these adjectives are related to personality. This is a good practice to gain and to have some new vocabulary. I want you to listen carefully and try to think of your own adjectives. Okay, let's start. Which one of these three people would you hire as your personal assistant? Hi, my name is Julia. I am reliable, organized, and hardworking. I work long hours, but I'm never bored at my job.
I don't have time to make friends or have fun. I can be moody, but only when I'm tired. Hi, my name's Anna. I am sociable, cheerful, and friendly. I love socializing and meeting new people. I make friends easily. I never get shy around people I don't know. Hi, my name is Caroline. I am determined and very confident. People say I'm bossy, but I don't think that's true. I want to be successful, so I don't take no for an answer. Reliable, organized, hardworking, determined, sociable, friendly, shy, moody, cheerful, confident. After watching this video, I want you to try to figure out what are the meanings of the adjectives mentioned. بعد مشاهدتنا للفيديو أنا حابة إن إحنا نعرف معاني الكلمات التي ظهرت بالفيديو. طبعا إذا كنت أنت في شركة وتطلبين إن يكون عندك مساعدة خاصة مين من الشخصيات اللي ذكرت بالفيديو تحب إنها تكون مساعدتك الشخصية. طبعا حلو نفكر بالادجكتيفز ونكتسب ادجكتيفز بسيطه وجديده اوكي جاز وي هاف ريتش تو ذا اند اوف ليسون 2 لذلك احنا نصل الى نهايه الدرس الثاني من الوحده الاولى من الكتاب ان شاء الله اي ويل سي يو سون ان ليسون 3 سو جود باي فور ناو